I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to build this table saw storage cabinet that features six pull-out trays to store your blades that have tabs that are engraved with the type of blade from crosscut, ripping, dado stack, etc. And on the bottom it has three pull-out drawers to store all your table saw accessories. Stick around, hope you enjoy. To rip the pre-finished three quarter inch plywood, we're going to be using a Mana's glue line ripping blade. With needing to cross cut some parts to length, I use a Mana AGE series track saw blade to make it more manageable at the table saw. I laid down insulation from the big box door on the floor so I had something to cut into. This technique works very well. With the parts cut to size, I can bring them back to the table saw and use a Mana's cross cut blade with electro blue coating. I cross cut the plywood parts to size using the same technique we used when ripping, adding a little material to the first cut and then flipping the part and ripping it off for a nice fresh edge. Parts that were too long and unsafe for the table saw and too wide for the miter saw were handled at the MFT3 table with my track saw. The results were nice and clean with the perfect track saw quality cut. On some of the longer parts I would set up a stand to support them when cutting them free. With all the case parts cut to size, we can now install the Amana dado stack with electro blue coating to cut our dados and rabbits. Using a sacrificial fence, I am burying the blade just slightly to get a nice clean rabbit. I use a feather board to keep pressure to ensure the rabbit depth is the same. The rabbit width is just a hair wider than the plywood so it is easier to clean up if needed. Next we can remove the sacrificial fence and make the dados for our sliding trays. I make sure to cut both sides at the same fence setting to ensure both sides are identical. I use a push block on top to ensure that the dados have the same depth all the way through. Here you can see a sped up process of switching between sides, adjusting the fence, and repeating until we have all six sets of grooves completed. With the joinery and tray grooves completed, we can now glue up the carcass. I apply glue to the rabbits and make sure to apply equal pressure across the entire joint to ensure equal squeeze out. I used a bunch of clamps to make sure there were not any gaps and to ensure that the carcass will stay square for many years to come. You can now head to the miter saw using a Mana AGE series miter saw blade to cut the drawer parts to length. I freshen up one edge, flip, and place the board against the stop block at my miter saw station. This will ensure all the parts are the correct length and consistent throughout the drawer. I then cut the part to length. With the drawer parts cut to size, we can head back to the table saw and insert the dado stack to create the rabbits and grooves in preparation for the drawer assembly. I use a push block to ensure the rabbit and groove depths are consistent so there are no hiccups when I am gluing it up. Do you know what the difference between a groove and a dado is? A groove is with the wood grain and a dado is perpendicular to the wood grain, as shown here. Next I measure the distance from the top of the drawer to the groove to get the width I need for the back. I then head to the table saw and make this quick cut. When starting a large glue up, I like to make sure my glue bottle is topped off and ready to go with no dried glue to cause problems during the glue up. I apply glue to all the rabbits and grooves and apply even clamping pressure to bring all the joints nice and tight while maintaining a nice and square drawer. No one likes to install a out of square drawer in a square case. To reinforce the rabbits, dados and grooves, I drill a pilot hole and insert a glue covered dowel and pound it in. I then use a saw to get them nearly flush and follow up with a razor sharp chisel to get them perfectly flush. To prevent the chisel from digging into the dowel, I flip it bevel down and that will make the chisel dig away from the drawer side. When it is nearly flush, I flip the chisel over and rest it on the drawer side, making a nice smooth pairing motion. I then install the drawers using full extension drawer slides, installing them to the manufacturer's directions. To install the drawer fronts, I use washers for spacings and then clamp them up. I then pre-drill and drive 3-5 to five screws per drawer depending on the drawer size. To install the hardware, I use a handle installation guide and center punch to make quick work of marking them out. I then drill the pilot holes and screw on the handle. Next it's time for some CNC action. I clamp down the tray blank to my CNC. We will first use a Mana's compression spiral bit to drill the finger holes to make it easier to remove the blades from the trays. I should have used a pocketing tool path to eliminate that center dowel. 
Next, we'll use a Mana Spiral Flute Plunge Router Bit. With the pocket completed, we can use a Mana Spiral Flute Plunge Router Bit to create the blade teeth pocket to protect the teeth of the saw blade. To identify the tray, we will use a Mana's 30 degree V-tip CNC engraving solid carbide insert mounted in the tool body RC-1075 to engrave the tray tabs. Next we will use a Mana's compression spiral router bit to cut out the tray's profile. Next we can repeat that entire process with a little different geometry for the dado stack tray. This tray will have an 8.5 inch pocket for the outside blades and three other pockets for the chippers and a small 3 inch pocket for the shims. To make the engraving pop a little more, I'm going to mask off the area with some painter's tape and give it a couple shots of spray paint and wipe off the excess. Since the plywood is pre-finished, it comes off very easily. With everything completed, I can push the carcass in place, install the drawers, slide in the trays, and I can start loading up the drawers with my accessories and getting all my blades in the correct trays. Well, I really like how the project turned out. I really like the offset tabs that are labeled so you can easily identify what tray you need to grab any specific blade. And my fifth tab down here is blank for future expansion. The three drawers are gonna be really nice to store all my table saw accessories from my wrenches to my push sticks and my measuring devices. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.